Uh, everybody start getting your bands on. For the people that are new, let me show you very quickly how we do this. Here's the B3 bands. Now here's what's important. These are flexible with multiple air chambers and they're narrow. It's not a blood pressure cuff. You simply slide it on your arms and legs. I'm gonna slide this one up my arm and I'm just going to snug the Velcro down, okay? Same thing on my legs. I just slide it on, put the loop through the buckle, snug it down. Now, if it's your first time, you want it snug. What is snug? Snug is not pinching. It's not hurting anything. But when I try and slide it up and down, see what I'm doing here? Snug it up and down. It's not slipping over the skin. That's the first thing you want to do. Next, you want to make sure these valves are right here on the front or right here so that you can get that them and pump them up. So we're going to start with our legs. So I'm gonna ask everybody to go ahead and pump up your leg bands. You'll see what I'm gonna do here. I've got the handheld pump. I simply connect it right here. You'll hear it snap. And then there's a number on this blue pole tab, which we're gonna pump it up to. Now, many of you will notice as you've been working out that you like to put a little more air in it and that's okay as long as it's not uncomfortable. These 300 bands, I pump up to 350. It's still comfortable, <clears throat> but it's doing an even better job of reducing available oxygen in my muscles. So now I'm gonna pump up this leg band up to 350. Okay, now I've got my leg bands ready to go. Now they are snug, but they're not restrictive. I can move, I can bend, and we have not cut off any blood flow. What have we done in the legs here? Look at my hand. Blood is normally flowing like this. All we did was slow it down. It's completely safe. When we slow down the blood flow, we reduce oxygen. So let's now get started with our four minute workout for our legs. What I want you to do is stand up, <clears throat> get a chair out in front of you or a wall. We're going to do a series of exercises of squats and rear leg kicks for four minutes. So here we go. We're going to get into the first position. We're just going to get in a squat right like this, everyone. And we're going to pulse up and down for 30 seconds. Now, what are we doing? We're using oxygen. And once we are using more oxygen than is flowing, <clears throat> most of you will feel it by the end of these 30 seconds, we're gonna start to feel a little burn. That's what we want. That's the lactic acid. Okay, keep going. We got about 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Next, let's put our left foot out in front. Bend the knee on the left, okay? We're gonna balance ourselves and we're just gonna pick up this rear leg. See how I'm picking it up? I'm squeezing my butt muscle. I'm not bending it, I'm not bending. Just picking up the whole leg. 15 of these, five, six, seven, eight. Probably feeling a burn in the back of the right leg, a burn in the front muscle. 13, 14, 15, we're producing that lactic acid, switch sides. Bend the right knee, balance yourself, pick up the left leg. Two, three, keep that front leg bent a little bit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we are all in the burn. We want to keep it going. Next, we're going to get back in our squat. We're going to do a torque squat. Knees in, knees out, nice and slow. Try and touch them together, flare them out. 30 seconds. You are producing lactic acid. It's like you've been working out for 20 minutes already. The more lactic acid we produce, 
the more nitric oxide, the more growth hormone, the more results we get. Feel that burn. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great, back to our same exercise. Left leg out in front, okay? Now, if you're new, it's okay to stop. If you've been doing it for a while, let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that front knee bent, bent a little bit, not straight, keep it bent. Nine, 10, 11, 12. You're probably on fire about right now. 14, 15, switch. Right leg out in front, keep it bent. One, two, we're almost done. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, three more, 13, 14, 15. Okay, last exercise. You're gonna sit in a squat and you can get creative if you want, but you wanna hold this for anywhere from 20 to 60 seconds. You tap out when you're ready. So I'm gonna do some curtsies, okay? And I'm gonna do some side steps, okay? Or you can squat in one place, it's up to you. We're gonna burn out the legs. So I'm doing some side steps. Okay, I'm gonna do some up and downs. I'm gonna step backs like curtsies. We're at 20 seconds. You're hanging in with me. We got about 35 more. Side steps. Up downs. We're at 30 seconds, halfway. Let's do some step backs or curtsies. We're at 40 seconds. We only got 20 more. Let's do a couple up downs. One. Two, three, four, five. Couple step backs. 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Way to go. Okay. <clears throat> Push the little tips and let the air out. Wow, my legs are on fire. I bet yours are too. I'm sweating, <clears throat> breathing a little bit heavy. <clears throat> but I'll tell you what is definitely happening. Nitric oxide and growth hormone. Take a 30 second break. I'm gonna grab some water and then we will move on to arms. <clears throat> okay, should be letting the air out. Okay, let's go on to arms. <clears throat> let's get our armbands on. Let's get them pumped up. <clears throat> if it's your first time, you can see if you're just watching how easy this is, snap it on. Pump it up, we're ready to go. <coughs> okay, we can move the chair out of the way. Let's get our tubing out, your exercise tubing, or some light weights. We are gonna do three minute guns. So we're gonna step on our tubing with two feet, or we're gonna use our weights. We're gonna do arms. I'm gonna turn sideways a little bit here. Here we go. We're gonna go up slow and squeeze. 30 of them. Squeeze at the top. Four, five, squeeze at the top a little bit. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You might already be feeling the burn. If not, that's okay. We'll get there by the second set, 20, 
25 on these last five. We're going to hold for a second. Hold and relax. Four, squeeze at the top. Three, squeeze at the top. Two more. And one. Next, we're going to simply stay in the same position. Bend over. I'm going to show you the motion here. See my upper arm? It's staying parallel to my body. The only thing that is moving is my lower arms. We're doing a tricep kickback. So if you have weights, it'll look like that or the tube. And here we go. One, two. You're bending the elbow. You're straightening the elbow. Five, six. Bend the elbow. Straighten the elbow. Upper arm should not be moving. Nine, ten. Squeeze at the top. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. We're probably on fire by now. Sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, last five, hold for a second, 26, hold, 27, squeeze, 28, 29, 30, I know your arms are on fire, now let's go back, we're only going to do 20 on the second set, back to biceps, here we go, squeeze at the top, one, Squeeze two, three, four, five. I know you're feeling the burn by now. Six, we're getting that lactic acid. We're releasing nitric oxide, more of it. Growth hormones coming after exercise. 10, 10 more, 11, 12, 13. My arms are cooking, 14, 15, 16, 17, last three, squeeze for a second, squeeze, 19, squeeze, 20, squeeze, back to triceps for 20. Remember, arms are parallel with our body and our elbows are extending back and then we're bending them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Last three, hold it for one second. Squeeze, squeeze. Last one, squeeze. Okay, back to biceps, our last set. We're almost done. We're gonna do 15. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, push through it. Eight, get that burn. Nine, 10, growth hormones coming, big surge. 12, 13, 14. Last one, I want you to hold it for 10 seconds. Squeeze your biceps with me. Three, four, five, six, squeeze. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Last exercise, here we go. One more set of triceps for 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Last one, squeeze for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight. Seven, get that lactic acid. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, wow. My arms are cooking. I'm feeling it through my entire body. Let's reach down here, push the little button in, let the air out. Same thing on the other arm. That is our eight minute buns and guns. Now, if you'd like to do your core and back, we always recommend you end every workout with a plank. So if you'd like to join me, I'm gonna do a 60 second plank. Just gonna get on my elbows and my toes. You go as long as you can. If you can make it 60 seconds, great. But you try and hold as long as you can. Now, if you're new to planks, watch what I'm gonna do here. You can do it on your elbows and knees. 
if you're a beginner. So I'm gonna get on my elbows and knees. If you feel like you can make it, let's get up on our toes. Here we go, 60 seconds. Squeeze that stomach tight. You go as long as you can go. It's okay if you only make it 20 seconds. You just wanna do this at the end of every workout. It'll build a nice, strong, lean core. I'm at 30 seconds. We got 30 more. I'm gonna do some swivels. Fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're done. What you probably felt there is a good burn in your stomach and in your back. When you do. That plank exercise, at the end, you're gonna get the burn really quick. And that's what you want. It's gonna help you tone up the abs, lean up this extra weight you might have down there, and <clears throat> it's gonna strengthen your back. Congratulations, eight minutes, buns and guns. We added the plank at the end. Let me tell you something. You do just that right there, maximum. You can hear me breathing here, 10 seconds, excuse me, 10 minutes. You do this four or five or even every day, you are going to get into the best shape of your life because you hit that lactic acid required. 